Kyle has been waiting for a home for a year and a half, and he's been staying at our adoption center that whole time, um, and he's won the hearts of a lot of volunteers, but especially of Lauren. So today is his official adoption day. When Miguel first came to us, he was a bit of a problem early on and um, none of the volunteers wanted to walk him because he's so strong and he just, he very eagerly says hello to people and he was just really hard to manage. We knew that we had to do something to make sure that he would become adoptable. So we did two things. The first thing we did was we contacted a trainer and we wanted her to come up with a training plan so that all of our volunteers could do it. So something super simple so that he could get out of his kennel every volunteer shift. We knew that was really important. And then the second thing that we knew was really important was um, play groups with other dogs because he was a young dog with a lot of pent up energy and we wanted him to be able to get that out in an appropriate way. So we did both of those things and it was like a 180. He became a completely different dog. He went from a staff only dog to a volunteer favorite dog. When Lauren first told me that he wanted to adopt Miguel, I said no. Um, he's a first time dog owner and Miguel needs some training and a lot of work and someone that's going to be dedicated to him. So I kept saying, why don't we find you an easier dog? Um, and then Lauren just kept showing up and kept staying late and taking Miguel home for sleepovers and field trips and all that. And at some point it just became really obvious that Miguel was Lauren's dog, but also that Lauren was Miguel's person. I started uh, taking Miguel home. First, uh, first of all, I, I'm not allowed to have dogs in my apartment. I started sneaking them in, and my favorite thing, his favorite thing, is looking out the window, and my favorite thing was just sleeping with him. So I never had a dog growing up, so I decided to volunteer at one tail at a time. When I met Miguel, there was something just so special about him. I decided I'm going to do it. I'm going to buy a house uh, and I'm going to get him. I ain't no sucker. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, no, we got it. I want to thank you guys for coming and for. Loving this dog for a year and a half, um, to have a whole community that rally around to save him is pretty incredible. And then to have Lauren here, who opened up his, his new home and his heart to this dog, <laughs> bought a home for the dog. It's incredible. So thank you. Cheers to Miguel. Here he is. Miguel is it's kind of symbolic of what this place does. This really is the greatest experience I've ever had. Not tonight, but just this rescue. It's really unbelievable what Anna, uh, Heather, Adrian, all of you do. To me, I'm not just adopting Miguel. All of us are. I just think this is great, and uh, I'm glad it worked out. Uh, and I'm glad I get to take him home. I feel kind of fortunate that he's been here this long and I still have a shot. And I promise you, Miguel, and everyone else, <laughs> he is gonna have the greatest life possible. And I always want you guys to be a part of Miguel's life because he loves you and there's a reason he loves you. Uh, <laughs> Perfect.